This is how, we, this is a king's list. So this shows you they left images of the kings. So they wrote everybody's name. So this is how we don't have to guess. This is one of the old ones. This is only up to the fifth dynasty. Then they have another. is showing him all the rulers from the 18th dynasty on. What they don't show you and they don't talk about, before Nama, there's a list of rulers that go back 36,000 years. They say the Neturu rule, men who were like God. Now, they etched it in stone 36,000 years. The Europeans don't even talk about that. Because 36,000 years ago, where were they? And believe, even European scientists say, nobody with white skin, blind man, and blue eyes existed more than 8,000 years ago. Facts. So even the ancient Europeans look like y'all. That's so it. But now, we weren't Neanderthal. And we weren't uh, Donald Southern, Donald Satan. Those are some beast like people. Their ancestors, not ours. Only reason why you would have that in your blood is that in your bloodline you married or somebody got raped like that. But other than that, and usually, and it's carried only by the woman. Here's a perfect example. My daughter had her DNA in my son. So we know we're from Tanzania. We know we're from East Africa. They said that we were 70% East African, and they named the different ethnic groups. 20% West African. My daughter had 0.1% Neanderthal. Her grandmother on her mother's side, this is why Zulu. So the mother carried. But my son didn't have any Neanderthal. So it shows you how the mitochondria just carried through the woman, so she carried. It. But again, Sara, I mean the son of the sun. Now, let me let you in and they're not going to tell you about it. Why did they use a duck to represent son or daughter? Daughter means sat. So it's the duck with the T there. Son is sat. Have anybody ever seen a mother duck with the little ducklings behind it? In a the row. little ducklings are totally open. That's it. That's it. If the mother falls in the hole, each little duckling falls in the hole. If the mother duck steps in some squat, each little duckling steps in the squat. They are so obedient. So the ancient collector who said, wow, I want my son and daughter to be like that. I want them to be obedient. So by observing nature, they use the word for son and daughter, sa, and that's the same word for duck. Sa is the same word for son. S-O-N, not the S-U-N. Okay. So, the soup bitty. The soup plant comes from the south. The soup plant can be food, it can be eaten, it can be used to make clothes. They use making mats out of it, they can make houses out of it. It's totally, you can almost live just off the soup plant. So that represents the south. The bee in the north is where the grapes were and stuff. The honey, the beehives. We are the first in Kemeta Ur, the first people to domesticate honey and export it all around the, uh, the world, their honey. And they had barges with only certain foods on it, so the honey, if you wanted a uh, buckwheat honey, they would only have buckwheat here, so the beast could only eat buckwheat. So they're the first one to make different types of honey. The first honey growth would come from East Africa. And it, that shows those East Africans brought that trade back right down into the Nile Valley. So you have the bee, the north, the sheep plant to the south, and by the way, that word soup also means south. It also means up. Up south. Down north. You've been upside down, inside out, and backwards your whole life. So that's why you don't know who you are or what this is all about. And let me say something. If you're upside down and inside out and backwards, even if I give you some good information, you can't do nothing with it. Because your whole orientation is messed up. You're going in the wrong direction looking for truth. Okay, all right, so.